Hello! Welcome to my messy background, but don't worry, I'm going to be covering it with things in a moment. So, I hope you're all enjoying your holidays. It's that time of year when I have accumulated rather a lot of new things, so I thought I would show you everything today that I have got for Christmas, for Boxing Day, and also just some other pieces that I bought before Christmas. I just thought I'd do them all in one big haul, and I will go through everything that I have. Look, I got sparkly socks! <laughs> First thing up, this is not really an art haul, but I really do love tin boxes, and this one is just absolutely beautiful. It's actually a jigsaw puzzle and it's got some sweets in there, but I thought I would get this for the tin so that I can put some art supplies or something in because I just cannot resist metal tins. So not really an art supply, but will be used in my studio. Okay, I was trying to decide what order to do these, but I think I'll start with some paper. So I got this small one, Artist Watercolor Block, the Master's Choice. It comes from a store called Senior Art Supplies and it's cold press medium, 100% cotton, 300 GSM or 140 pounds. I've never used this paper before, but I've seen it advertised around and I just thought that it might be fun to use. So I just got a small block. It's a slightly odd size. I actually think it's made in China because that is a, definitely a Chinese name, Bao Hong. <laughs> okay, it says distributed by Neef Australia. Neef um, is a company. I've got quite a few of their things. I've got that watercolor box. I've got some brushes. So they have some interesting interesting products but I'm very curious to try this paper out and see how it compares with other papers. I got an art journal from a shop called Typo which do a lot of funky art supplies actually while I'm doing it I got a couple of other things from Typo these two pencil cases as well because they were all on sale and I just couldn't resist them they're so pretty. I love the green colors I don't normally go for green but Oh, I just really like this kind of a vintage look to them. So this one's a double pencil case. And this one is a triple one. It looks like leather, but it's vegan leatherette. So it's not <laughs> what I would call full leather. But it feels pretty much just like it. And this is a triple pencil case. So yeah, I just thought those two were quite nice. They were heavily discounted, so I grabbed them. And this art journal was there too. It is some sort of water paper 190 gsm so it's not very thick paper but it's got 40 sheets and you can see a bit of a texture on it so i'm quite curious to try it out i have absolutely no idea of the quality of this paper it wasn't very expensive so i'm not holding out too much hope but it could just be fun for some artistic experiments actually while i'm doing the typo stuff before i get to this paper I also got this little watercolour set in Typo on the discount. <laughs> I'm not expecting great things from this either, but we'll have a look. It's a little plastic box. I mean, the, the cardboard boxes that they come in are really pretty. And it opens here, I think. I did open it in the shop, but of course now I'm on camera. I can't find how to open it. Ah, why won't you open? Now oh, there we go, got it. It takes a special knack, you have to pull it open in just the right way. So it's just a teeny tiny little set. I have no idea what the paints are like. It has got a little mini brush, which I am sure is probably going to be next to useless, but we'll leave that in there for now. I think one of the reasons I got it is more for the names of them, like Black Soul, but my favourite is Antisocial Orange. I mean, that's just perfect for me. <laughs> But yeah, I'll leave those up so you can have a laugh at them. Suspicious Brown's another funny one. Drama Queen Pink. Although, I don't think these are in the same order that they are in here. And oh god, we have to open it again. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm assuming that one is Drama Queen Pink. And yeah, I'll look at these at another time, I think. So that was just a bit of fun and a bit of an impulse when I saw the sale there. So, you know, I can't resist watercolour sets. Okay, this paper which I've got on its side, I actually filmed this for the Shimmer Drops video that I just did a few videos back and I had done a whole thing talking about it. For some reason I did not put the footage in and I did not realise until the video was up and ready to go and I went, well I'm not doing it again. So I'm just going to mention this. I really wanted some black watercolour paper. I hunted everywhere. I could not find it anywhere. No one had it except for one shop in Melbourne City. This is cellulose paper which is why it lifted really easily when I was doing the snow glow. But it's 300 GSM. It's 
it's thick paper, it's really nice. They only had it in a size A3, but it should keep me going. I have another 14 sheets of it, so yeah. <laughs> I've got other things which I can paint onto this. So that is what that paper is. And one more pad of paper. This was in TK Maxx. I think in America it's actually called TJ Maxx, but I think it's the same kind of concept where they take all of other stores old stock and then they sell it for a discounted price this was actually more than half price it was twenty dollars down from sixty dollars so i mean or fifty dollars something like that but yeah it was worth getting i have a small block of this montmartre watercolor paper it's actually really really nice and i found an a3 pad of it with 12 sheets for 20 bucks and i snapped it up i've never seen it again in any other TK Maxx's that we had been into so it was just a one-off and I'm glad I took the opportunity to get a nice cotton paper 300 GSM you know you can't really go wrong with that and I have used it before it's really lovely so I don't normally use blocks but I thought I would get it because it's sometimes nice to have the paper stuck down and you don't have to then you know tape it down and things like that although it has got a bit of a dinged edge there but I'm sure I can work around that I'm not too worried about it Okay, moving on to the next things. Bag of goodies from Kiki K. Now, Kiki K are very lucky to still be here. They actually went under at the beginning of the year. I think possibly during the first lockdown, they went into receivership. It was just around that time. But someone else actually bought them out, and so they are still going. And I had not been to a Kiki K since January or February this year. So the local shop had actually closed down, and I found another store that had opened up in one of the other shopping centers that's not too far from us. And so we went in there because I hadn't been in there all year and I was really happy that they didn't go completely under and someone bailed them out. But they had this lovely little tote bag. I think that was maybe a dollar or something. It was on this super sale. They gave me a free pen and it's a foofy one. So yeah, <laughs> that's only because my husband asked if there was any free stuff. He is so cheeky and the lady actually gave him the pen and I was like, I'm so mortified, but yay, I got a free pen. <laughs> anyway, let's just take a look at the little bits and pieces I got in here. Oh yes, these were actually in a Christmas cracker, the same design in a Christmas cracker and I pulled it out and you get three little pens. Now Kiki K have some of my absolute favorite ballpoint pens. Look, you can see that's on was six dollars down from ten I think something like that they were 40 percent discount but there you go <laughs> I haven't even taken the tags off them yet I have them laying around the studio hello so yes it's just a basic black ballpoint pen but I like them so I grabbed a few more I quite like the minty bluey color and the gold and a plain white so yeah <laughs> let's just grab some pens this was a set of five notebooks down from $15 to $5 I have so many notebooks in my collection but these are so pretty um, let's open them shall we they're handy just for scribbling little ideas and things and these ones are always good just to fit in your bag so I like the summer designs on them that was one of the reasons I got these because it's summertime here so why not get some summer things these may well have been from last year but I don't remember seeing any of these designs so it's nice that they've got some new things another 40 percent off this is so adorable I just could not resist this let me pull it out quickly I mean look at it oh, it's so cute I actually got one a year or two ago is it the same size it's the same size so now I've got a white one and a brown one but yeah, they just hang around in my studio and I just think they're so cute I can't resist them I really love the white one. Oh, and the last thing I got this was also on sale it's got a bit of a schmutz on the front cover it's just a to-do list it wasn't ten dollars I think it was about three dollars did I pay for it something like that just a little to-do list one thing at a time they're always handy to have and I just thought the design was really pretty so that's another reason to get it and it all came in this little bag and I had this under the Christmas tree and I opened it on Christmas Day <laughs> I will tidy this up and I'll move on to the next things okay I got a couple of things that I bought when we came out of lockdown which was right at around the beginning of November I think some sometime in November I bought these things the art shop opened again and I went down there just because I had not been out of the house for like three months and I just really wanted to go out and I'd been looking at these because I have the other sets of pencils 
they are somewhere else in the house I need to find them I have three other tins which are the cobra the scorpion and the redback spider well, it's a black widow spider and then they released another set of 48 they also have two sets of skin tones which I have somewhere as well but I thought I'd show you this these are so inexpensive but they are really nice pencils and it's such a beautiful tin I was going to show these earlier but I thought I'd just save them up and do it here because I hate doing too many whole videos at once. I just like to do it all in one hit and yeah. When it comes to new sets of pencils from existing sets that I already have, I am incapable of not buying them. <laughs> I really like this set. It's got a whole load of kind of secondary pastel colours and a few more greys. So all of these are extra colours. These are new on top of the existing sets that they have and I am going to do a video where I show pretty much everything but I just thought I'd pull these out and they're so pretty let's just open one up I mean how can you resist peppermint <laughs> I mean, they're so pretty they go down really smoothly they're wonderful to use and I really like them for a cheaper set of pencils if you're looking for something these are well worth the money I think this set was 35 Australian at the art shop, which is darn good because normally you're looking at $60, $100, you know, for other sets of similar type of things. And while I was there, I also could not resist this set of Marabou Aqua Ink graphics. They do have all the single bottles, but I just thought I might as well get a set of six because I think it worked out just a little bit cheaper to buy the set. And I'm going to open it up because I've been holding off opening this until I did this video. And yeah, it's been driving me crazy. So, oh look, there's even a free brush or a complimentary brush. That's actually quite a nice one, that. A number four Marabou graphics. So these are, I think, just watercolour inks. Yes, they say watercolour inks there. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Let's open. Well, aren't they? I just love the little jars. They're really sweet. So I probably will over time end up adding to this collection, but I just thought I might as well get an introductory set and it's got the black, a green, a blue, a magenta looking color, a, a orangey, more vermilion red and a yellow. So your primaries and a few kind of secondary colors in there. So yeah, I'll be excited to use those and try them out. That will be something I will look at soon, I think. Now a friend gave me some money for my birthday, which was super kind of her and I was going to buy a whole set but I already have some tubes of these and I thought rather than buying a set and ending up with the same colours I would just add to the ones that I currently have and I am going to do a future video on this because I've not touched at all upon gouache and I don't have a lot of gouache. I do have some art spectrum colours I'm going to show them again later but these are the ones I got to add to the more the primary sets and the black and the white that I have. I just picked up some of the more interesting colours. So I wanted to get a thalo blue because I always find thalo blue is a very useful colour. I've got orange, turquoise. I cannot go past the turquoise. I love, love it. A Prussian blue. I thought I'd get a nice darker blue. A violet and a dark green. I also have a mid green, a, a primary red, primary blue, yellow. I've got a burnt or raw umber I think and a black and a white and a flesh tint so I will show all of those in a future video but these are just a few things that I got very recently not that long before Christmas. I also received some books for Christmas and I'm going to do those in a separate video because I've got some new calendars and I just thought I'd do my books and calendars together as a separate thing so I can actually flip through the books and spend a bit more time on it but my beautiful husband he bought me such a lovely thing for Christmas check this out how gorgeous is that i have not had a calligraphy set ever or except i had like a really cheap and nasty one but it's always been something i've looked at and gone am i ever going to do it and then my husband's gone and found this amazing beautiful set of calligraphy inks and i was just blown away at how beautiful it is I mean, it's so pretty oh my goodness look at it so it comes with the pen stylus thing and it comes also with four nibs which you then attach into here. Oh, doing things left handed is never a good idea. <laughs> there we go. And then you've got your thick one. I think there's a couple of thinner ones. So these are very much calligraphy nibs and they are really, really pretty. Let's just let's see if I can hold one up a little bit closer. And they've got numbers on. So I've got a number two. 
a number one, a three, and a five in here. And I'm sure I could probably find other numbers and add them into here. And then it comes with all of these different colors of ink in the most adorable little bottles. They are actually the same inks that I showed in a video a while ago in a much larger container. These ones here, as you can see, this is the same bottle. But I love that it's in a tiny bottle because I find that ones with the plungers on can be quite annoying if you just want to dip into the bottle and then you've got to try and find somewhere to keep the plunger without it getting dry and gross. So I would almost be tempted to tip some in here into that bottle if I finish them. So I love this set. I just think it's wonderful. And thank you, Nick, for buying me this. I love it so much. I just wanted to have one really nice calligraphy set and you found me one from one of my absolute favorite brands i love sennelier watercolors i like their inks i don't think i've ever used anything by sennelier that i haven't liked their pastels are stunningly beautiful <laughs> and i just can't get that in okay i've done it there see i can never do things on camera but yes that was my wonderful main Christmas present from Nick. This was the Piste de Resistance. Oh yes, and he also bought me this little lovely watercolour palette. Or you could use it for anything really, ink as well. I thought about putting it with this, but I might have just got myself some presents and I wasn't going to, but then they put them in these boxes and I could not resist them. And look what I bought from Jackson's that arrived just before Christmas. One, two, and three of them. They are the Schmincke super granulating colors in the various sets. There's Galaxy, Deep Sea, and Glacier. I honestly was not going to buy these because you can actually mix them from single pigments that they already have in their range but they put them out in these boxes just before Christmas and I'm a sucker for packaging, I really am, but they're so beautiful, these beautiful little wooden boxes and they are 15 mil tubes. They were really reasonably priced, you would never get them for what I paid and I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid because it's still a lot and it's a bit embarrassing, but I am going to do a video on these really, really soon because I really am dying to swatch them out. I actually thought this was 15, but now I'm looking at it, it's actually 12, so maybe I will keep that with the ink one. So I've got 15 tubes here of three amazing looking colors. Let's just take a quick look, because how beautiful are they? I'm trying really hard not to lose these just at the moment. <laughs> this one's got pink, ah, oh, gorgeous. And the Glacier. So I'm super excited to try these out. They were a total impulse buy. They are so boutique. Honestly, they are not really colors that you would want to be getting if you are just wanting to do normal painting. These are just total luxury items, but I mean, hey, I think after this year, I just thought, you know what? I'm going to spoil myself and get them. And I'm glad I did. But would you believe after I bought these, they've now gone and released another two sets. I was just going, are you serious? Because I'm just going to go bankrupt if I buy those as well that are Forest and Tundra. One day, if they come out in boxes like these, I will probably buy them. <laughs> because if I've got some, then I must have all. And the other Forest and Tundra colors look really pretty too. This is going to be a video that I will do very soon. The very last thing which I didn't get at Christmas I actually got in Boxing Day sales. They were on sale for once in their life. How cute are these? This is Jimmy's studio which is of course going to be turned into Becky's studio and Miller's garden and this is the first one I ever saw and it's just caught my eye. They are DIY miniature houses and so basically you put all of this together and I thought that I'm definitely going to do this one on camera because I think this one is quite appropriate for an art studio, although this looks more like an office than anything, but I'm sure I can add a few things to make it more arty. So I'm definitely going to do this on camera and film it as a video. I'm not sure about this DIY miniature house. I may or may not, just depends how successful this one goes because they look really complicated. I'm not sure how long they're going to take to actually do but I just thought they would be fun to do as a little project on the side and we'll see how we go. Okay so that's everything there. Let me just put out a display of stuff so we can see it all together. 
Okay, that does not even fit. I had to move the camera off the bracket because it just won't zoom out enough. <laughs> Somebody needs to haul me away before I just buy more things. Totally frivolous items in there as well. My other desk has just been covered in the slot for a few days, so I need to find homes for everything. And I also need to decide what I'm going to film first. I think these schminkers are going to have to come out first because I am champing at the bit to swatch them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this whole video. I had a lot of fun obviously showing it and I have been thoroughly spoiled this year as I have mentioned before. I just want to thank you all for watching and I will see you again next year. <laughs> I hope you all have a really happy new year. I will see you all again in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye!